Okay everybody, welcome back to Learn With Minecraft Education. Today we are going to be looking at shaders, how to install them on the iPad. I'll show you my five favorite ones, and these have all been tested working on Minecraft Education, so you'll know that this method works for you. Okay, so here we are on the iPad now. We've gone into the App Store. We all know how to find that. And what we are doing today is we are searching up MCPE add-ons, uh, which stands for Minecraft Pocket Edition add-ons. Um, we're not using Pocket Edition. We're using um, Education Edition, but this works fine. And we're not using add-ons. We're using shaders. But again, this is the place to go. So you see in the top right there, that's what the icon looks like. We're going to hit Open once we've downloaded it. And this is what the app looks like while it's running. So here are all our various add-ons and skins and textures and stuff. We're going to click in the top right just to show you. You can organize these by latest and top rated and so on. But we want to click in the bottom right where it says more. And what this does is it brings up our list so we can click shaders there. And our first shader we're going to try and download is called the Lumatrix shader or the Lumatrix shader. And we're going to click install. And it, we're going to click Minecraft Education Edition. Uh, to tell the iPad that's how we want to open that file. So we're going to start a new world in Minecraft Education. Once it's imported, go to Resource Packs and click Activate on the resource pack we've just downloaded. Let's change it to Creative and click Play. So what I'll do, I'll go through the five different shaders today, starting with this one, and I will make it full screen. Okay, so here we go. And as you can see, um, the reflections are there in the water. We've got some shadows coming off the trees and the blocks and stuff. And it looks like a pretty good upgrade from regular old Minecraft, I would say. Uh, certainly one of the better ones. One of the big things is it runs really smoothly. Obviously, it's running at a lower frame rate. Uh, but still, for an iOS device, very good indeed. Next is the Skylex shader. Little advert when we click on this one, but that's fine. Just click Close. And then it brings up that same menu, open with Minecraft Education. It'll bring that up every time. And uh, what it does, it's going to just import that. And it should hopefully tell us that it was successful. There we go at the top, import started. And successfully imported Skylex Shader 2.2. So let's go ahead again, start a new world, create new, go down to resource packs. And load up that Skylex Shader. And um, we'll hit play and load up that world. There's our Skylex shader, activate and um, play. So again, I'll make this full screen when we go into it so you can compare these different um, shaders. And this one um, has a bit of a different look. I think you'll agree, it kind of looks a bit dark, like the contrast isn't quite there. Uh, but these are all recorded uh, using the same method from the iPad. Onto a, onto a laptop, so it shouldn't make too much difference that way. Um, but yeah, we've got some shadows there, and um, textures are a little bit different, aren't they? So yeah, it looks pretty good. That was the Skylek one. Next, we've got the Fabric Light Pocket Edition shaders. And uh, again, this one, uh, pretty good. Same way, open with Minecraft Education Edition, and import started. And all of these have been tested um, on an iPad, a newish iPad, I'm not sure, pretty new. Um, so they run pretty smoothly. And we're on uh, 1.4 of Minecraft Education Edition now, just loading it up the same way. Um, I know with my previous shader video, there were some people who said they have had some difficulty. Uh, they loaded up the shader and everything went black or something like that. But this is the Fabric Light Pocket Edition shaders. Um, I think everything looks kind of, uh, again, pretty dark, actually. Uh, let's have a little fly around and see how everything looks. In fact, let's change um, let's change the time to sunset and see how it looks, how everything looks at sunset. Okay, the sun looks pretty cool. Right, moving on. Um, the Yamarin shader. Same thing, install, open with Minecraft Education, wait for it to import. Uh, so yeah, like I was saying, um, on the last on the other shader video I made, some people were saying that everything kind of went black and they couldn't see any difference. Um, it is really just going to depend on the device that you're on. If you're on a much older iPad, I can't guarantee that these will all work. Um, or one that's running a slightly older version of iOS, I'm not 100% sure. But this is what worked for me with a freshly updated iPad. So this is the Yammerin shader. Uh, again, looks kind of dark. 
Uh, but it's got quite a distinctive look. The flowers look really cool, don't they? They're really bright, they really pop. And uh, the shadows from the blocks um, are really high contrast, aren't they? They're like really dark. Um, but yeah, definitely a very different look from the normal, uh, the normal look that you get. And this is the uh, Noob shader. So this will be the last one we'll look at today and you can make up your mind which one you like the most. So we'll import that. Again, all tested, all working at the time of recording, uh, which is why they've been included in this video. So we'll set up a new creative world, go to our resource packs, activate our Noob shader and take a look at this last uh, this last one. So let's make this full screen when it loads up. Loads up really quickly. I think iPads run this stuff so quick. Oh, that looks nice. Looks really kind of crisp and clean. Uh, although it looks a bit foggy. I don't know if there's like the draw distance is down or something, but yeah, like I say, these shaders for iOS devices, you know, they run really smoothly. They don't really seem to slow down the frame rate too much or anything. And I noticed playing on uh, a laptop I run, on, I run Minecraft Education on the MacBook Pro, and some of the shaders really slowed it down, actually. Um, so clearly, Pocket Edition's well optimized, and iPads are, are pretty capable machines at running these things. So yeah, guys, that was the video for today. I hope you enjoyed and found it useful. If you did, please do subscribe. I do some videos about mobs and shaders and stuff, and general videos about Minecraft Education, so make sure you check them out, and I will see you all later on in the week. Thank you.